The PACT initiative, which stands for Partnerships to Accelerate COVID Testing in Africa, was officially launched by Chairperson uh, Musa Faki Mohammed uh, and further endorsed by the Bureau of the Head of States. Uh, PACT is essentially a part of the continental strategy that was endorsed on February 22nd by uh, the Ministers of Health. Uh, what PAC seeks to do is to ensure that we have uh, a balance between saving lives and saving livelihoods. Uh, we all know that uh, if we intensify our public health practice, which is uh, on the pin around testing, tracking and treating, then we have a good chance of saving our economy so that we begin to release our economy or unlock our economy very safely in the way that we can sustain it. So that's the whole uh, purpose of PAC. PAC is an integral strategy of the Joint Continental Strategy. Uh, our testing numbers are relatively low. As of today, the continent has conducted about 2.4 million tests. And if we have to test 1% of a continent of 1.2 billion people, then a projected requirement should be 12 million tests. So we've tested 2. Point, uh, conducted 2.4 million tests, means we have right there a gap of about 10 million to do. So PAC is a call to action. That says that uh, in order to be ahead of a pandemic, we must test, increase our testing, but do so in partnership also do so in the context of good public health practice, which means we have to identify individuals that are infected, isolate them or quarantine them, and then uh, follow up their contacts. Then. And those who are infected will be treated. That's the whole concept of PAC. The PAC initiative is everybody's business. And everybody means every stakeholder on the continent, that is the healthcare workers, the community workers, the doctors, governments, the private sector, and international organizations like Africa CDC and the WHO. It is the only way that will enable us to be ahead of a pandemic and actually bring it under control. The more we develop these partnerships around increasing our testing, and tracing for those who are the contacts of those who are uh, infected, the, the earlier and faster we bring the epidemic or pandemic under control. If we do not do this, it will, it will lead to a delay control of the pandemic and it will hurt our economy very badly. That's why I say PAC is the instrument that will help us uh, balance between saving lives and saving livelihoods. My message to partners is simple, that uh, COVID-19 will be defeated in Africa only through joint, effective, coordinated partnerships. We are calling our friends of Africa, Africans themselves, the, the governments of Africa, the private sector in Africa, the citizens of Africa to rally behind PAC and facilitate our ability to increase the testing facilitate our ability to trace the contacts and facilitate our ability to roll those individuals that are infected into treatment uh, programs, our care programs there. That's the only way we are going to beat this beast and beat it quickly so that we can live and return, and return our lives to normal.